Hello, do you know that there are about 30 million Americans that carry a mutant gene of the cystic fibrosis? And you know that there are about 1 in 8 African Americans that also carry a sickle cell gene. But then what is the implication of that? Imagine such couples with such underlying genetics getting married. Biology says that they have a 25% chance for pregnancy of giving birth to a baby with a genetic disorder such as sickle cell or a full-blown cystic fibrosis disorder or disease. But then there is a remedy in medicine already. It's called IVF PGD, which is an acronym for in vitro fertilization to be followed by pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. It is a quite invasive microsurgical method that requires the removal of cells from a growing embryo to be able to determine which embryo is diseased and which one is healthy. But guess what? What do they do to the diseased embryo anyways? They discard it. They toss it in a garbage bin. But I think that there is a better way to doing this kind of science. And that is what my research proffers. I'm working on a less invasive assisted reproductive technology that aims to genotypically sort sperm cells based on their surface characteristics. We will be trying to use certain antigens that have already been characterized on the surface membrane of the sperm, such as the HY antigen, to help reduce certain X-linked disorders, or the CFTR gene to help delineate between a cystic fibrosis sperm. You know, we think that this method we can apply microfluidics and immunomagnetic separation methods to be able to achieve sperm separation or sorting such that sperms that are selected can be used to fertilize egg that will yield healthy babies. And as such, we might be able to reduce the onslaught of genetic disorders in our world. Thank you very much for listening.